everybody doing today? It's Miss Sharon with Storytime. I have my special friend again, Miss Riley. Can you say hi to everybody? Say hi. She's ready to paint again. Um, I hope everybody is enjoying their summer. Uh, if you check our website and check Facebook, we are starting to open up and have a few um, programs available. Um, still social distancing and wearing masks, but we're doing the best that we can. Um, also, if anyone is in need of food or any kind of help, please give the office a call. We're still doing our community care packages and I'm still here for the community. So give us a call if you, you yourself or you know of anyone who needs some help. All right, you ready to go over what our um, uh, things we need today for our project? What are you gonna do today? What are you gonna do with this? You're gonna paint? And what color are we gonna use? Purple. That's blue, we have our blue paint. We have some yarn that's already been cut. We have my gumdrop shape, and we have two eyes and a paper plate, right? And some glue. So let's get to our story. What's our story about today? A fish. A fish, and he's called Fidgety Fish, all right, by Ruth Galloway. Fidgety Fish. Oh, there he is. I wonder why they call him Fidgety Fish. We'll find out. Oh, look at that, under the ocean. Fidgety fish. Tiddler was always fidgeting. His name is Tiddler. He wiggled and squiggled. He darted and giggled until his mom got fed up with him. Get out into the sea and swim till you're tired. But watch out for the big fish, she said. So Tiddler swam out of the cave. His mom told him, go out and play. He dived and he flipped. He leaped and he dipped. He sped faster than a rocket and glided gently like a swan, letting the sea currents fan his fins. But he still wasn't tired. His mom wanted him to get tired so he would come in and take a rest. The sea was full of the most interesting things. There were limpets that clung and jellyfish that stung. And there was a big, big starfish that didn't do much of all at all. Remember we had a story about starfish? Remember? Hello, said Tiddler, nudging the starfish gently with his nose. The starfish didn't answer. It didn't even move. A crab sidled by, clicking and clacking its big claws. Tiddler wanted to play with it, but the crab scuttled off and disappeared into the seaweed. Look, there's the crab. He's got claws. See him? Tiddler came to a big, dark cave. It looked much more exciting than his cave back home. And Tiddler swam in. What do you think is in the cave, Riley? What do you think's in the cave? <gasps> Look, snap! Everything went dark. Uh-oh, he's in the dark cave. How does he look? Does he look scared? I wonder what's in there. Tiddler was trapped inside the big fish. Look, the big fish ate him. Oh my gosh. He trembled and shivered and he shook and he quivered. Look, he's in his belly. Oh my goodness, the big fish got him. Until the big fish tummy began to feel very funny indeed. It rumbled and grumbled, it turned and it tumbled, it fluttered and groaned and mumbled and moaned. Do you think he's going to get out? Who? Do you think the um, Tiddler's going to get out of the big fish tummy? Yeah? Let's see. <gasps> Suddenly, the big fish burped. Look. Burp. Think he's going to get out? Hmm? Whoosh! 
out shot Tiddler. Did he come out? Yeah, he burped. He burped him out. That's pretty gross. He shot past the jellyfish and the clickety crab hiding in the weeds, past the starfish and straight through his own front door. I hope you've used up all your energy, said his mom. He went right back home. Oh. Tiddler, oh. But she would have to wait until the morning to hear about his adventures because Tiddler was already fast asleep. So was he tired now? Yeah, look, he fell asleep. He got, got out all of his energy. And there's the ocean. So what are we going to make today? Do you know? A jellyfish. Let's see if we can find the picture of the jellyfish. There's the jellyfish. Jellyfish have long, they're called tentacles, I guess, kind of like an octopus. So we're going to make a jellyfish today, okay? All right. So the first thing we're going to do is paint our paper plate. So let's put some paint on there. What color is this? Blue. Blue, right. Go ahead. You're going to take the brush and you're going to paint the whole plate. You've got to move the paint all the way around. Go ahead. Keep going. Going to hold it. Okay. Do the edges too if you can. That's it. Good job. So where did jellyfish live? In the ocean, right. What else lives in the ocean? Do you know? Starfish. Starfish. Good. And what else? What was the thing with the claws? The red thing, do you remember? That was a crab. Crabs also live in the ocean. Lots of things live in the ocean. Done? All righty. So I have a paper plate that I already painted that's dry. All right, so we'll use this one, all right, because this one's going to be a little bit wet. So we're going to take this, and we're going to glue his tentacles on. And we are going to use yarn, all different colors, okay? So we're going to put a line of glue. All right, here, take some yarn, and we're just going to lay it in the glue. All right, here, you can take some out of my hand. Put your finger up. All different colors. What colors do we have in here? Pink. Pink, and what else? Purple. Purple, good. And we have some blue. And red. And what color is this? Green. Okay, here, go ahead, put some more on. It's okay if you get some glue on your fingers. We'll wipe it off with the wipes. Okay, a couple more. Put another one on. He's going to be so cute. All right, now we're going to take his body because they have this shaped body on the top. And we're gonna lay that right on top. Can you push it down? We'll put a little glue under here. Okay, and how many eyes do you think they have? Two. Two eyes, so I'm gonna put a little glue on. And then you can put the eye on the glue. Go ahead, put on the glue. Right there. There you go. How about we hold it up and show our friends? You ready? And there's our jellyfish in the ocean. What do you think? Do you like him? Good. And then you can take this home when it dries too, okay? I hope everybody enjoyed our story about fidgety fish and the ocean. And next week, we're going to celebrate somebody's birthday, but I'm not going to tell you whose it is. It's going to be a surprise. So we're going to have a little party, maybe make a little craft if I can find one, 
and a story about a birthday. So I hope everybody can join us next week for our special birthday party. And you guys all have a great week and stay safe and healthy. Can you say goodbye? Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.